I'm going for a try. Hi, my name is Yuri and I'm from Norwalk, Connecticut. I voted for Trump in 2016. And I voted for him because I was disillusioned by his Make America Great Again logo. I believed him. And today I couldn't be more ashamed of myself for, I almost feel, voting for someone who could be just so opposed to everything that I hold dear. He has made the Republican Party into such a divided, it's either pro-choice or pro-life. You cannot have an in-between. It, 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 it speaks to a, a group of, of, of people who I, I cannot support at all. To me, Donald Trump, especially now, but along these last three years, has shown that it's all about Donald Trump. It's all about his megalomania and the firing of inspectors general, generals is just an example. This is not, there's no checks and balances here. He wants to be in absolute power. What happened to my country? I am so disturbed by him. There is the leadership in this country lacks inspiration. It is built on hatred, divisiveness, and it's his this tweeting, it's all about filled with just a crazy man's illuminations with absolutely no facts, and he gets a base together. This is dangerous to this country, and I am now a Democrat. Because I, don't know, that's much I was better. so outraged that I wanted to vote in this primary, and I had to change my um, affiliation. Okay. And I have done that, yes. and I will support another party now because of Donald Trump. And I am ashamed to this day for voting for him. And I feel that I I always have to pay my dues. A lot of people feel um, that way. Traumatized, <laughs> depressed, feel like I have PTSD. If I could gargle with bleach to know that Donald Trump wouldn't be president again, I would. And thank you for doing this. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your, Marie, for your honest and thoughtful commentary uh, about how you feel. Actually, I just want, I respect the spirit and the manner of your confession. I really do. And if I may add something to all of y'all who feel the same way as Marie, white people in particular, when somebody enters a political campaign Dividing us. I mean, just straight dividing us. Calling Mexicans rapists or blacks criminals. It's not going to end very well. And, and, and nothing good can come from that type of thinking. It can't, it can't end well. Because from an emotional, from a human perspective, we are one. And anybody that tries to make it anything different, to me, is not operating off of sincere stimulus. Oh, yes, white people have done some real criminal, evil things to black people. Things that, that are going to be addressed one way or the other, either by nature or by nurture, or either by... Uh, 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 what they call it, uh, retribution from the universe. My job is to, in my opinion, to understand, just like I understand there are different species of birds, but they're all birds. If I can just put it on the most low, basic level, uh, robins, blue jays, sparrows, 
they all inhabit the same land. They get the worms out the ground or whatever, and they inhabit the same space. Sometimes they may move around if a bigger bird comes to play, but they're all birds. Whether it's a vulture that has the nature to devour individuals, he's still a bird. So we have to be smart enough to understand that and not let your prejudices, because we all have them, get you mixed up with somebody that's trying to get you to understand that we are all one. Like Frankie Beverly said, we are one. If you can breathe, if you can, if you want to eat, if you go to the bathroom, right? If you have sex, no matter if you gay or straight, none of that check. If you have sex, if you procreate, you have a baby, and those things happen irregardless of your color. If you have paid your light bill, the uh, 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 um, natural laws of the universe will apply when you go and switch your light switch on. It doesn't matter if you black or you white. These are the things that we have to understand and we have to understand them on a spiritual level. So as it above, it is below. So keep your mind, balance it. You know you're living below. So you got to understand and connect the dots to the above. And I, I hope that makes some kind of sense. And I thank you again, Marie, from Connecticut, from sharing for sharing your honest and deepest feelings. Namaste. Thank you.